Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good Oz Country Kitchen. All right, we're down here at uh, Third and Kentucky at Denali's Restaurant. It's actually next door to Ollie's Trolley. You see over there, uh, which we've we've reviewed Ollie's Trolleys before, but today we're going to review Denali's Restaurant. The present owners, I think, have owned it since 2017. Uh, they used to own Twig and Leaf Diner over in Douglas Loop. <clears throat> so they have kind of a similar menu, some of the same items, uh, but they also have some different things which I want to talk about when we get in there. So uh, it's been open for 60 years, but the present owners, like I said, have been here for about five years. So let's go in and check it out. All right, I want to do a walkthrough here while I'm waiting on the food. And as you see, starting off here, as you come in the back entrance, they got all local movie stars and athletes you see colonel sanders muhammad ali Pee Wee reese uh who's that over there jimmy ellis old heavyweight champ yeah all locals also you can see we got local artwork here i think uh one of the guys that works here these are some of his drawings and they're also for sale there's Mary McKenzie's favorite movie, The Shining. And also some more drawings over here. Pretty cool looking. All right, going further around. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty big place compared to what I thought it was looking like from the front. It's big. Anyway, cute little place, cozy atmosphere. Be back here in a minute when the food gets here. All right, so being that it's a diner, you know I gotta have the biscuits and gravy. I always gotta check out any diner's biscuits and gravy, and you know how I do it. So me and uh, Mary did a little trade. Her pancakes came with uh, two eggs, so I ordered uh, the runny eggs from her platter and two runny eggs for my biscuit gravy platter. So I got four over easy on top of the egg. And I took the Denali's tots, the D tots, and chopped them up and put those over the top. And for you all that have seen my other videos, y'all know how this conglomeration works. A little Tabasco. ketchup and I know you you haters out there that say oh you don't put ketchup on biscuits and gravy don't knock it till you try it and then of course last but not least plenty of pepper so here I go of course that that runny yolk paint on in here Mary that runny yolk just accentuates the gravy Mmm. 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 That's some good sausage gravy. Alright. That's wonderful. Good biscuits. Fluffy. Tastes fresh. Tater tots are good and crunchy. Alright. Be right back and we're going to start in on Mary's breakfast. All right, Mary, so what'd you get for your breakfast? Pancakes and bacon. Okay, so when we traded, she let me have her eggs. I let her have my bacon. You see, she's got a nice stack of bacon there. It's got three pancakes, powdered sugar on it, and uh, they look perfectly cooked. Looks like some good slices of bacon there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut her pancakes up for her, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, as you can see, I like the biscuits and gravy, but I saved myself a little room. And the reason I was gonna do that is, at first I was gonna get this thing called the Mighty D, which is their double bacon cheeseburger, open face with chili and cheese and 
lettuce and sour cream on it. But as I said earlier, the owner of Dean Alley's used to own Twig and Leaf, and they also have the same exact meal there. Uh, it, but it, the Twig and Leaf is called From Wound to the Tomb. And I absolutely demolished that when I was at Twig and Leaf, plus a full biscuit and gravy dinner. So anyway, if any of y'all think that I couldn't have handled it, just check out that video of the Twig and Leaf. All right, with that said, I'm moving on to the next meal, which here at Denali's, every day they have international specials. So today, you know, I like Indian, and I like curry, and they have chicken curry with vegetables over basmati rice. And I told them to make it extra, extra Indian hot. And I told them to go ahead and put it in the go box because I, I didn't know for sure if I'd be able to eat it all, but I can tell by this, I'm gonna probably be able to eat it all. And it also comes with a side salad. And I got ranch on that, but let me go ahead and give this a taste. Curry chicken and vegetables. Curry chicken. I love this curry. Mmm. 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 I can see it's got bell pepper in there. I can't really see an uh, onion. So, anyway, it's got other vegetables in there too. But the, the chicken's cooked perfectly. And the the gravy that it's cooked in with that curry, it's excellent. And of course with that uh, white basmati rice. Mm. Very good. Yeah, I, I like the fact that uh, on top of their regular basic diner menu, they also offer other international dishes which I love, I've, I've kind of expanded my horizons here in the last several years. And uh, I've been experimenting with different international restaurants. Pin on down here, Mary. So yeah, this is right up my alley. All right, I'll be back in just a minute and give you some final thoughts on the whole thing here. Let me get another little pan around here while the place is kind of emptied out a little bit. I got some really cozy booths in here that wrap around all the way around to the front so this place is a lot bigger than what you're going to see when you come in the front door okay i gotta do a little plug before we get out of here i said before that one of the employees did all the drawings in here uh it's actually a former eastern high school student named azid bakari and uh he works here and all of his drawings are for sale. I think they're they're twenty dollars, but he's really talented. Uh, yeah, definitely, it's worth coming in here to check out his artwork too. And remember, I told you my favorite one, The Shining. Yeah, the kids they love The Shining. All right, we're going to get out of here, go out front, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts and words. No to go box needed here. And don't forget dessert. Looks like they got some good cakes here to choose from. All right, definitely thumbs up on this one. Everything we had was great, uh, reasonably priced. I actually could have gotten out of here under less than 20 bucks if, if uh, you know, if I just stuck to the pancake platter and biscuit and gravy platter. Normal people, that would have been more than enough. And you would have walk out, walked out of here full as a tick for under $20. But of course, you know, I'm fat and I have to have more than that. So anyway, uh, everybody's laid back here, chill atmosphere, cozy diner atmosphere. And of course, if you're here, ask for Azid Bakari. Uh, he's a good server, good artist. Come check out his artwork. And uh, with that said, y'all don't know nothing about this Denali's restaurant. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. Always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.